John, when you travel on the road, you travel with your camera to take some pretty nice pictures. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've uh, generally traveled with two extra bags, uh, one carry-on that just has my camera and a couple lenses, but I also uh, I bring a, a, a full-size think tank bag that has a tripod, some action modules, and probably about eight other lenses in it. Yeah. Today I got here around 1.30, 2 o'clock. You're out there laying on the center field grass, taking some pretty cool pictures. You do that at every stadium. Yeah, I'm trying to. It's just a little project I've been working on since last year. I have a few more stadiums to pick up, but I, I ended up getting Yankee Stadium last uh, fall, actually, when the season was all done. I came on a little trip. Uh, I did a, a Baltimore, Philly, New York, Boston trip uh, and got those stadiums at the end of the season. And you shoot with a lens that you could fit the entire stadium in, and then you post them on your Instagram account. Yeah, it's a, it's an 8mm lens, so it gives me you know 180 degrees on, on left to right, top to bottom. So when I lay down on the grass, uh, I'm basically it looks like I'm just taking a picture of the sky, but... Uh, on the outside of the entire picture is the entire stadium, so it's just a, a different uh, viewpoint that people just don't really see of the stadium and how it can look like um, from a lens like that. Is there anything different about Yankee Stadium compared to all the other fields that you've been to? It's it's definitely more grand. You know, it, you get the uh, the seats uh, higher up in the deck, so you know the stadium seems to stick out a little bit more. Some of the smaller stadiums uh, with only a couple decks. You know, you might not get the stadium sticking out on the sides of the of the photo as much because uh, the photo is circular. Uh, but here, you know, you, you're really getting the the, the grand feel of, of Yankee Stadium. What's your favorite park that you photographed so far from that same spot in center field? Oh man, it's tough. Uh, sometimes you just get some really good, uh, really good sun or, or cloud pictures. Uh, some of those look really great. Um, and a few that I've actually got with the, with the stadium where the roof is closed, they actually look kind of kind of neat when the roof is closed. Uh, Arizona and Miami, um, Milwaukee looked kind of interesting with it open, the way it kind of divides down the center, uh, kind of look like a pie shape um, when you actually are looking at it in a circular uh, photograph. Um, but all of them are, are pretty great in their own way. I think that's what's so fantastic about it. You're, you're picking up something new and different at each stadium. Uh, you kind of have to set things up just a little bit differently, maybe depending on how the stadium is uh, uh, is built, but uh, uh, that's what I kind of like about it. They're all uh, they're all special in their own way. That being said, do you have a favorite stadium that you've shot at? One that sticks out? You know, I, I had a good time at PNC last year. Uh, I took a quite a few lenses there. Uh, you know, they just have a great backdrop. Uh, when you get into that second deck, you can really see all the bridges in the, in the city in the background. So um, being able to get that, uh, bringing out uh, a different wide-angle lenses, uh, I brought out some of my tilt-shift lenses, things like that, and just played around. So it was, it was kind of fun to be able to do that and get a, a little stadium perspective and also get some city in it too. Will you eventually publish these into a book or uh, some type of photo book? It, it's been thought about. I, you know, it's, I can't say I haven't thought about that. Um, I was just originally doing it as a project for myself, but I thought that that might be a pretty cool idea. Maybe some baseball fans that might uh, like it or appreciate it, especially if you can get it in a, in a decent size. If you can get a 12 by 12, it might be, actually make a nice little uh, frame photo on a wall for somebody. <laughs> or a coaster or anything else around the house, right? That too. Coasters were actually uh, brought to my attention at one point. I should give this person credit because he did message me about it, and that was Drew Storman. Uh, he, uh, we've never played together or anything, but he just liked my photos and messaged me and said you should probably make those into coasters, so I'll, I'll give him credit on that. <laughs> <laughs> and one thing that's worth mentioning about these pictures is that since you're in center field, not just anybody can go out into center field and especially yeah. get into the ballpark at a time where there's nobody on the field to be able to do that, so that in itself makes it very unique. Yeah, it's uh, the access that you get, um, you know, having uniform, uh, being able to go out there. It definitely makes it special. Um, like I said, I tried to. I did a few stadiums in the off season. Um, I got, uh, like I said, I, I got Baltimore, Boston, uh, New York, Philly, and Toronto. And it's much harder to do that in regular street clothes uh, than it is coming in as a player and just being able to walk in the dugout and walk out on the field. Uh, so I ran into a few problems at different stadiums. Um, I actually did Wrigley. I did both Chicago's too. Right at the end of the season, had a little problem in Wrigley. Um, had a little problem in Philly, you know, just trying to get the communication right. Who to contact? Who do you have to talk to to get there? Um, everyone was was great, and everyone was very open about me being able to go out there. Um, once you know, all the right uh, the right people talk to each other, but it's definitely easier to do it during the season. And for the audience, where can we find your work? Right now, it's just on my Instagram account, which is just John Axford. So plain and simple, that's well, just my name. Um, I haven't posted any ones from this year. Uh, Although I, I did just do Seattle and New York, which I have already posted in the past, but Seattle's roof was closed last year when I got it, so this year I got it with the roof open. Like I said, I got Yankee Stadium last year when, with the gray skies, so this year I wanted to get some nice blue blue skies. If we eventually see you in an NHL arena or a football field at, at the center, we'll know what you're doing. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, definitely. All right, well, good luck and thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you.